Hello and welcome to the Joey D Show, a show about a former media corporate in broadcasting to an entrepreneur in podcasting. Yes. Hello, my kiddos. Welcome. The show is about to start right now. Stick around. Hello, my kiddos. How are you? How are you? This is the Joby D Show, and I have a great friend, an anchor fam in the house. Her name is, and she's already smiling, <laughs> L.L. Walton. Hey. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I like, I'm, I'm, I'm like pausing, like, what's going on? Hey, hello, everyone. Very happy to be here. Awesome, awesome, great pleasure. Please tell me and all the rest of my people, all my kiddos, I invite you because as well as me, you're an entrepreneur, you're an author, you're a businesswoman, and there's a lot of great things going with you. Yes. So, yeah, can, you can take it from there. Um, I am a published author. I have three books out. I'm working on my fourth. They're primarily stories about relationships. The first two are Please Don't Date Me, A Hundred Reasons Why, Volume 1 and 2. And the third one is Shame, Love, Lies, and Lust. And that's a book of short stories about situations and relationships. Of course, these are fictitious characters that I've made up. But those are situations apparently that people can relate to. The stories are exciting. The characters are crazy, so it's just one of my favorite things to do, right? Yeah. Okay, so that title. On which one? Shame or Please Don't Date Me? Please Don't Date Me. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> oh my goodness. I chose that title because it's primarily saying if you were to know everything about someone up front, would you still date them? Yes. And, and if you did know everything, it, it kind of give, gives us more accountability on who we choose to date. So, like, if you find out that he has 10 kids by eight different women, um, he's unemployed, or she has, you know, a criminal background or whatever, would you still be willing to take a risk on dating these people? So, basically, it's just a, a please don't date me. If I have these reasons and this is why, basically. Okay, okay. No, it's true. Honestly, if I knew, if I knew what I, what you, what is it, what do you learn? Like when you date somebody in a week, like if I knew what I learned from you after three months, then yes, exactly. maybe I would not date you. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so if people would put out all their stuff right on the at the point, look, these are my issues. You know, these are my problems. <laughs> this um, is my baggage. Exactly. Basically, this is my baggage. Because every relationship leaves you with something that you carry on to the next relationship, even the next marriage or whatever it is. Like, that's why I'm always puzzled. Like, people that get married five and six and seven times, like, how do you do that? Like... What is it? <laughs> it's just, no. it's but crazy. Again, you know, there's so many, so many factors into 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 it. So, what about your second book? My second book um, is Shame, Love, Lies, and Lust, and so it's basically just a compilation of short stories about relationships. There's a chapter about love, it's a chapter about lust, and it's a chapter about lies. And those, you know, those characters are very interesting. And I'm working on part two of that one because each story is a continuation. So they don't have an ending. So the next book that I'm writing that I'm working on right now is Shame 2. And it's kind of a follow up to the characters from the initial book. Mm, okay. Okay. Then I have my work cut out here. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you... You know, I didn't. Mean, you know what? I'm gonna hold on my other question, and uh, we're gonna come back from this break, and we'll be back. Back. We'll uh -huh. be right back. Kids. All right. Hello, my kiddos. Remember, you are listening to the Joby D Show, and you can also uh, listen to it on your Apple Podcast, Breaker, Catbox, Google Cast, Overcast. 
Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Spotify, Stitcher, and TuneIn, and also on Spreaker and Patreon. If you like it, support it. You know what you got to do. You got to press that button. Press that button. And we're back. And we're back at the Joby D Show. And I have my guest. I think she's going to be one of my favorite persons right here. Yay. Say your name. L.L. Walton. <laughs> this is a Thursdays with the girls, okay? So enjoy. Anyhow, coming back to you, my dear, tell me, how did you land it on Anchor? Um, I was actually considering quitting my job. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and, you're getting home. And I'm like, there has got to be another way or another outlet where people can hear me talk about relationships. Um, I, I started a YouTube channel like probably two years ago and it kind of freaked me out because I was out in public and somebody was like, oh, I saw your channel. And, um, you know, she kind of like got at me like, whoa. And I was like, oh, I'm not ready for that type of attention. So I shut that down. Oh, wow. And then I don't know. I found, um, I was, I was looking into doing voiceovers And so I, um, Anchor popped up and I'm like, well, what is this? And then it was like an easy platform to record and, you know, talk about whatever it is you want to talk about. So that's how I found it. I just kind of fell into it, you know, and it wasn't necessarily that I was looking for it, but I, it just popped up. And then I was like, yeah, this is what I can do. I don't have to be seen. I can just be heard. And, you know, that's my thing. <laughs> and let, let the value, um, yeah, um. Definitely, I did my research. Obviously, you know that my background is in broadcasting. Yes. So kind of more or less, I really had the idea of what it is. But then I really had to figure out just as well as you are, what is going to make me feel right now. Yes. And not only comforting, like you said, also the reality is I work. And then how much time I can put in into this in a consistently, you know, manner and be accountable of uh, producing content you know right in a moderate way which is yes we do have to put out content you know in a daily or persistent way but also put quality of content exactly exactly and it was a great platform where I could read excerpts like when I first started I was doing it every morning like I'll get up at, at six and record before mm -hmm. I left to go to work or whatever but um and it was a great platform to read excerpts from my book and you know talk about what I've meant in different situations so that was good for me and you know It, and the platform was expanding to other outlets like iTunes, Spotify, and stuff like that. So I thought it was a great platform to use in regards to my books. Yeah, not only that, I, I realized that actually when I was taking the time to research, I was checking that you actually the feature that you really you have used a quite a lot is the caption, which you have done an amazing, amazing job visually in taking advantage of that yeah um I don't even know how I found out that that could do it it just one day when I was um this is before we could edit and take yeah. out stuff you know what I mean <laughs> and I used to think god I need to take that out or change that but now it I've gotten so used to just going with whatever comes up that I hardly ever edit it but having that part where you can create a snippet and have yep. it be a video and people can hear and actually read some of the stuff that you're saying and post it on other, you know, outlets. That was pretty cool. So that was like, great. I don't, I still don't have to put my face on it. So that's great. You know, to the point where people are actually looking at me and talking, I guess I'll get past that one day, but of I'm not course, there yet. Of course, honey, <laughs> when, when you feel comfortable, it, it is. Um, and that's the greatest time that I think we're living right now is the amazing tools that are available to us now. And like I said, you know, it is our business presentation as well. Right. And 
the truth of the matter, there was a time where it's like, well, if you're in social media, you may not get hired. Now it's the other way around. If you don't have any kind of digital print about your work, oh about my your goodness, work, right? Nobody's gonna look at you. <laughs> exactly. It's like it's a necessary component. You can't do much without it. Exactly. Exactly. So, um. LaShawn, let me see. Uh, what exactly are you... What's going on? So, are you married? Are you... <laughs> I'm not married. I was married um, uh, uh, many, many, many years ago. But my longest relationship was 14 years, which is my oldest daughter's father. And um, being with somebody for so long, and then he actually passed away. Oh. So, that was... That was like a, a, a devastating period in my life. And it was a big adjustment. But it also fueled me writing my first book. Because I, after about a year or so, I started kind of dating or trying to see what was out there. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, <laughs> is this what's going on now? Like, it was, I was a foreigner in whatever was happening. I had been with such a great guy and such a loving person that you know i'm thinking okay if you're honest then that's something that's you don't even have to think about but then like dudes oh. are lying oh, people were dear. being deceptive they were seeing shit that wasn't oh sorry i didn't mean to curse on your show but <laughs> no <laughs> they worries. were saying things that wasn't true and then they had like wives and all these uh, baby mamas and i'm like what is this it, i just could not I, i didn't it wasn't a good adjustment for me so it kind of fueled me writing the first book But yeah, ever since the then, trials and tribulations, exactly, exactly. And I was hearing stuff from my friends and stuff. But um, lately, and my next relationship was probably um, after me a couple of years of being single. My next relationship was probably like three or four years, and we broke up. And I've been kind of, you know, dating here and there, but you know, nothing serious. I've actually changed my whole focus and just concentrated on myself making the necessary changes because I know eventually I will be in another relationship so and, excellent I do, yeah I am with you on that same page I am with you on the same same page and you know I feel that that connection with you um as a female as a, as a professional that yeah we have definitely early on in our lives we had put a priority in, lo in life and love And, you know, my journey also has been like a cross path between love and my career. Exactly. And I haven't been, you know, placed in a position that I, as much as I would like to, I have really put it on hold because I needed to move to something else. My longest relationship was like, I think, nine years. Yeah. I've never been married, but I've been always very committed and loyal. And as things have been progressing in the dating space and now online dating mm -hmm. and all these new apps. And... Wow, I have some stories for that. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? With that note, we're going to come back. We're going to come back, kiddos. So hang in there. Tune in. We'll be back. What's going on, my kiddos? Stay tuned, but don't forget to subscribe to my show, Joby D Show, on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify, or any of the platforms that you are listening right now to this show. And also, it will be great that you rate my show. I will really, truly appreciate it. And I'll see you on the other side. We are back. We are back here, and I have an author, an entrepreneur. Hey, LL. <laughs> so we got stories. All right, guys, <laughs> don't don't run, don't run. You gotta you gotta stick around, my kiddos. Come on, you gotta take notes. Seriously. <laughs> Anyhow, so yeah, and my experience has been as a. Coming from a humble background, Latina, uh, black, and you know, single, single home. My mom was the provider, and you know, it has really put me in putting my career, on, you know, in front of love. I have definitely, oh, say that my longest relationship was 
nine years. Yeah. And then it has been always an uprooting transition and another transition between work.